5G is expected to cover one third of the world's population within the next three years. As healthcare, automotive, aviation, and manufacturing industries continue to grow, all will look to mobile solutions and prove 5G is the future. I think I'd add to it about education. And we talk a lot about smart technology, don't we, in this age of convergence we're in now. But I think we need to help people with the smart education, personalized training, you know, making skills around technology available to non-tech facing roles, really give skills confidence and help people apply those skills and have the confidence to use it. So things like metacognition is really, really helpful for that. Um, but just overall, you know, I've been involved in some new research around barriers to digital transformation, you know, whether that's 5G or other forms of technology. The top three are all people related. So it's things around culture, not feeling you've got skills readiness, particularly around innovation skills and also things around organisational vision as well. So focusing on that I think is key. And also for 5G communication, it really, really matters. I think there's still some miscommunication around that um, for the broader you know, public. So getting that right is important too. And finally, I would say security, you know, absolutely key. And the more we can use things around AI and machine learning to be you know, less reactive to cyber security threats and more proactive, have that active intelligence, if you will, and again, work together, collaborate as an ecosystem to do that. I think that's the best way to overcome the challenges and get to the real opportunities of 5G for all these amazing use cases. For future episodes, subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay abreast of all of the new updates. Thank you so much for joining, and I'll see you next time.